Hey, it's Rob, and uh, welcome to the backyard once again. I have a project going on that involves pallets. Uh, I'm trying to do a reclaimed pallet wood project, and in doing so, uh, I am collecting a lot of pallet wood that I'm going to be using, and I need to find a place to store it better. So I am making some pallet wood racks and I uh, figured, you know, show you guys what's going on and just, I mean, these are, uh, these are quick and dirty. They're made with pallet wood. <laughs> so, you know, they're not going to be the most pristine things in the world, but they should work for what I need. So the first thing you'll notice that my handy work table is made of pallets. Uh, I figured that since I need to have them anyway, this one actually makes a really nice work surface. I may keep this one separate, or at least the top part of it, to use for uh, an outdoor work table. I mean, it didn't cost me anything. Um, anyway, I got these pieces of wood. These were cut, f or I mean, these weren't cut. These were part of a longer pallet that I got. And these pieces are six feet long. And then I've got a couple of shorter pieces over here that are three feet long. So I'm making these six feet by three feet trying to minimize cutting as much as possible. I figure I might as well. And then I will be... I'm going to put two cross pieces in it. Now I've already got one done. I'm just going to show you this one, how I put them together and make them square. Okay, starting from one corner, I've got this piece and I've tried to make them as close to flush on two sides as I can. That will get it roughly in the right place. I'm also using these uh, number 10 by 3 inch decking screws. They have a nice little uh, drill cutting at the bottom, so they go into wood pretty easy. And I am putting one in each corner. What this will do is it will hold it in place, but still allow it to shift as I need it to in order to square it up. I'll do the same thing in four more corners and then we'll be ready to do the squaring. I did mention that this is reclaimed pallet wood so this is not at all any kind of quality lumber. There's a bow in this one that goes this way. I don't care that much about it because this is I mean this is essentially a discardable unit that I'm going to be using temporarily while I need to store wood and keep it off the ground. This will last for as long as I need it to, and it doesn't need to be square, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to set this for 36 inches to the top of this board, so that it's 36 inches from top here to the bottom piece. Put in another screw here. And another one here. Now because there's only one screw in each corner, this piece that sits like this can rack this way and this way. And what I want to try and do is measure the diagonals. So if you've got this, I want to measure this distance and this distance to try and make sure that they're even. If they are even, then you know that the unit is square. to shift it this way. The, you want to shift it away from the larger number. So what I want to do is shift it to about 50 and 3 quarters. Which is there. 
here. And there. So that is now dead square. And we put more screws in to hold it in place. Okay, so these are the two sides. I've got pieces on the bottom to actually attach to a, uh, another pallet that I'm going to be using for the bottom shelf. And what this will do is this will allow space on the bottom for storage for long pieces and on the top for other long pieces. And I'll be able to get it, you know, loaded pretty well. Now, I am going to need to add some other side braces, but I'll be doing that in a little bit. So here it is in roughly the location that I plan on putting it. I'll uh, probably need to dig out some underneath the uh, corner here or perhaps along this edge to try and make it a little bit more level. Uh, I do not have it attached together. Uh, I need to run stringers on the back and I'm not sure I might put one on the front as well uh, just to help keep it stable. But yeah, this is, this is where I'm going to put the long wood. I'm going to do something similar for the shorter pieces. Right now I have a uh, this going on, which is rapidly running out. The shorter pieces are primarily the ones that I'm going to be using for the project I have in mind. But I do have these longer pieces you know, here, over here. Uh, you know, all of these I need to get away from the house because I'm going to have some work done. And uh, all this stuff needs to be stacked over here. Now it's all de-stacked <laughs> because uh, this is not the first one I've done. Uh, the first one that I built worked pretty well until it collapsed in a windstorm. Uh, I didn't really have it bla braced. Blah. Didn't have it braced well enough and it collapsed. So I had to pull all the wood off of it and now I've made a second one that's a little bit stronger. Well, it's not complete yet, but you, know, you get the idea. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get to work on it tomorrow. The weather forecast has thunderstorms, so I will see. Uh, I'm hoping to get it done this week because I still need to move all the wood over and it would be nice to have some time to do it. <laughs> so, yeah, now we're going to see. All right. Anyway, until next time. I turned on the camera, it beeped. And the dog. <coughs>